In today's astronomy video lesson, we are going to get acquainted with the galaxy types. Now you may wonder where 30 crazy scientists you will need to know the galaxy types. And here is an example. In our days, computers are important part of everyday life and with computer there goes computer games. Now have in mind that for the last two years uh, computer gaming industry makes more income than the filming industry. Therefore, it is pretty possible that you will someday stumble upon a space strategy computer game where you will need to choose the galaxy type in which you will play the game. So let's begin with the first type of galaxy which is the elliptical galaxy. <coughs> now elliptical galaxies are maybe the most difficult types of galaxies because you cannot corner yourself anywhere in the galaxy. That is uh, your star empire will have access from any point outside your home world. The next type is the shell galaxy. Now shell galaxies may be easier to play and they are just like playing a civiliz civilization game on two big continents. So you can find a cluster, cluster of stars in uh, the parts of the galaxy where you can thrive in peace. The next type is the lenticular galaxy. Again, it is uh, like the elliptical and like the ring galaxy. So you will have uh, more stars clustered in in the in in one plane, where in uh, levels up and down there may be less stars. So next type is the most common galaxies in the universe. This is the spiral galaxies and uh, this exact one is two arm spiral galaxy. Now they they look uh, easier to play because you can begin in somewhere in one of the arms and just expand to the center and to the the corner of the arm, where if you are lucky, there will be no other sentient species to ruin your plans. So the next one is six arm spiral galaxy. <coughs> uh, this is again an interesting uh, galaxy to play, maybe playing uh, with a lot of uh, players where everyone can get one arm and try themselves to the, to the center. Then we go to the Barrett Spiral Galaxy. It is just wide, like the two arm spiral galaxy, which but um, it uh, has more stars here in the, in the center. The next type of galaxy is very interesting. This is the flocculent spiral galaxy. It is just like the spiral gal galaxies, but it has those strange gaps in it where there are no stars. So in computer strategy games, space computer strategy, this can be very good because you can make some positions between these gaps. And but uh, in real in the real space, it also uh, brings some questions how these uh, gaps have formed. Now, here is a fun theory, uh, because we can observe these galaxies uh, and speculate for them. We actually can't re cannot reach them. So there may be some, have been some space, uh, enormous space wars between very advanced species that have used weapons that destroys star systems. <laughs> and that is why it is probably there is that gaps in the, in the galaxies. This is a fun theory of course, 
just for fun and we go to the next uh, type this is the ring galaxy which is the easiest one and my favorite now you can begin from from the side of the ring and just expand in two ways where you always will have two bigger fronts to handle uh, the, the center of this galaxy should be very hostile and environment and there should be no stars in some games there are uh, of course some very very ascended uh, race there or some enormous space monster <laughs> which is quite fun uh, where we go to the last type of galaxy this is the irregular galaxy or a galaxy that doesn't have any particular form it may also be fun to play in such galaxies and with that I got my new knowledge level and with this knowledge I can go and play space strategy computer games <laughs> okay <laughs>